Hello everyone, let's see today one Elwell, an old one, a good one. Elwell is a real known company with fantastic items, always they have a good manual included or added with the product. And of course the basic instruments, this is an old one, if you can read from here. Um, uh, let's take this away. So. Power supply 220 volts AC and this has a J type as an input and two outputs of 10 amps both. So these are the sockets, the known sockets that Elway uses. And the outputs, great. The front size, this is 72 by 72 size. So this is not needed, let's take it away, this will need later, so let's connect it. There are going to be two, two videos about this instrument because of uh, the many options that this item gives us. And perhaps some of those are not really useful for everybody. Just to make it faster, we'll connect like that. So we see here is the power supply, the, the relay outputs, and here is the input of the sensor. We have normal J type sensor like this, and it says that are the pins. I don't see the numbers, I don't care for the numbers. I see the negative is at the bottom, so the negative is this one, and that goes like this, this is the negative, this is the bottom. Yep, here it is, be careful. Nothing much happens if you do it wrongly, but okay, just avoid it. So... When everything is properly connected, the item is ready for use. What we are going to do today? So, the first video we are going to see only the basics. In the second video we are going to see the full details of this instrument. Oh, it's alive! Great! 23 three degrees nice so as long as Elwes always gives us really many options about what we like to do with its instruments perhaps this gives us many solutions or in other cases this makes it more complicated for the installer um, the same thing happens here for this EWTR 940 at the end we'll be able to set the Temperature just like this by set pushing the button set one and set two, but in order to go there, we have to program it. To program it, and uh, what they say to program it, we have to push the program button, then this, and then that. Weird or not, this is the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, uh, the first option is differential of uh, the set point of the second set point. Why this is happens? This happens because. Um, uh, there are two options, two outputs uh, for this instrument. The first output now is set up as PID, so there is not any differential able to be set up. So the, we have only the differential for the output. A few words about this instrument it could be that um, uh, it gives many options for the use of the outputs. So if you want, you can use the two outputs totally independent between those or the one has to follow the other or the one can be set up by whatever we say from the first setting point so uh, at this lecture the first one we are going to see the basic stuff about this instrument and uh, how to connect it and how to use it perhaps so let's read what its programming part means about these indications when we see 
this decation is the differential set for the second output and how modified you press the set set one it doesn't matter what it is and we set the difference let's leave it as balls after this we push the up button not the down as you see in manual perhaps you think that by pressing the down button is going to go further we push the high button so what we see it's ls1 this is the low set value for the first set point and this by the same way we can set it correctly what exactly this is and because you can see the the same the less two for the second output and the high s set point one and the high set point two it gives the opportunity the option to the installer to set up the range of setting temperatures that someone can have about an instrument in order not to um, uh, cause any problem about after a wrong temperature setup or um, in purpose wrong temperature setup proportional band great let's go to the pid stages pid this PID is a way of controlling, it's something that we're not going to discuss now, it's the best way to set temperature and you can see that really easy how to use it at really many temperature controls. So it's a P, the, um, okay, we're out. Let's go again there. So this is the proportional, integral and derivative. All these points, that this has this have to be set up um, uh, when the device is connected it's not easy to know what to use and when to set it up this is another whole lecture if you know how to do it do it otherwise leave it as this so we're not going to see about all the, the next options because these are going to the second video let's go to see um, uh, what is most important have to know how to set the sensor in this case um, uh, we have uh, a j-type sensor as you see and uh, we can see that that it is uh, this option pse is the sensor input and the options that it gives us is about thermocouples so it's phi cr about chromium this is the k-type this is a pt100 perhaps or whatever pt you need and uh, that's all and that before that it should be nickelium i don't see that don't know why whatever okay um uh, the basic sensors are the j the k and perhaps pt100 depends about the installation later um uh, heating or cooling of the output of the second output what means the first output is only heating you can't change that because it is a pid or not will can modify it a bit later but uh in this case it's heating or cooling for the second output in case you want to make two different um, uh, functions or controls in application so this is important if you want if you need to know how to use that too and we're looking for ft is the function type so we're running this and it's ft and it's pi or on off so if this pi then the pid point um, uh, options are indicated and uh, the differentiation set of the output one is not able to be set up so this is the point that someone can switch from pid to on off so let's continue this is the temp the setting of the temperature sensor and after this, this is the reputation for sensor one and for the output one and for the output two. The reputation one and two. This gives us the option in case of uh, a failure of the sensor, what would like the output to be? Normal open, normal close. This is the open, this is the close. In order to protect the whole situation. So, for the first video what you have already seen here are the basics and uh, these are fair enough and we're out again because we know first of all how to set the on off or pid option 
how to set the differential um, uh, set about the second or the first output how to set the correct uh, how to set the correct sensor thank you for watching us we're going to have a second video later about the other options of this controller